Hey there guys, this is ATH Shadow Angel here uh, to start off the new year. Oh, the first vid of the new year. Uh, so first of all I'd like to say um, Happy New Year to everyone out there. Hope you had a great time celebrating uh, or whatever you did. Uh, just hope you had a good time. Um, so here we are, 2014 and today um, I'm going to start off with the finished build of my Lorgar model. Um, and as first of quite first we notice that you can see he's holding a book, which I'll talk about in a minute. Uh, so overall build, uh, review I suppose, uh, as all with all the Primark models, really good, uh, fairly, you know, really good, probably the easiest I've had to put together, uh, apart from a few bits and pieces which I'll talk about in a bit. So, first and foremost, let's have a quick overall look of the finished model. So... First and foremost, I absolutely love this model. It's so full of detail, as I said in the last vid. Uh, quite a lot of detail on the armour. And there you go, right. So, first and foremost, I'll, I'll, say, something, I'll say something about the initial pose that I wanted for Lorgar. Uh, I wanted to have him look like he was uh, preaching or cack or stirring up some kind of ancient rune, I don't know, some sort of weird dark magic and sorcery. Uh, and there was a bit in, I can't remember which book it is, so I do apologise, that describes Lorgar reading from this great book, this great uh, dark covered book, uh, which brings forth all kinds of manners of evil from the from within the warp uh, and it kind of got me looking and when I first saw the model released I thought it needed that something you know it needed that so I initially thought well why not give him a book uh, to read from which I'm going to do uh, chaotic runes and scriptures all in the inside of the book and really make this thing look like some, you know hopefully something a bit different uh, for anyone who knows the book, it is quite clearly the plastic one off the front of the uh, Dark Angels Land Speeder upgrade sprue, uh, just with all the insignia and that shaved off. And so yeah, so that's the book over and out done with. Uh, the other thing I had with this one was the base. As you can see, it's. I've had to mould green stuff all pretty much all the way along this crack, uh, just because when it was all fitted together, this was had quite a large uh, space between the back bit of the model and the uh, the actual initial side. But it's a quick fix, and I'm not going to complain about something like that because it's easily easily fixable. Uh, what else? Uh, to be fair, like I say, there wasn't much I, could, I, I found wrong with this one. Uh, it's fair, like I say, it's fairly simple to do. Uh, the only other bit, uh, with the mace, which is where I'm still a bit concerned about because of the way, uh, the side spikes off the side there are both uh, separate pieces of resin. And as you know, with Forge World, they it's it's I'm not sure it's the one bit I'm going to be a bit I'm always going to be a bit iffy about uh, the book is fairly well secured in his hand just a mass of green stuff blob in there and that's just held on uh, had to alter the arm a bit so he hasn't got the scriptures uh, parchments and that like he has on the right side under the uh, left shoulder pad but I don't mind uh, it's uh, it still works fairly well I think for me I like it uh, it's just made me thought, love this model even a bit more because I've now got my own personal touch to it um, and so yeah so uh, I was going to say um, really well, all I can say about this it's really worth if you like the Primarchs or even if you're a word bearers player or looking to do a word bearers army or you like me just wanted to collect the Primark models it is once again from Forge World another one worth worth 
uh, you know, if, if you're into that kind of thing, obviously I know people are going to look at it and go, oh, well, it's this much and all this for a one month. But I think it's worth it for the amount of detail and everything that's in this. Uh, I mean, just look at the armour. The armour alone is just amazing. When it decides it wants to focus. Come on. There we go. So, I mean, from the detail in the face to the beautiful look of the inscripted, uh, sculpted armour, sorry, and everything, it just looks absolutely stunning. And so, yeah, so that is my logar. Uh, I'm not sure when the finished painting marks. I want to do quite a bit with this, and then obviously he'll be photographed with uh, the other three. Yeah, the other three. Uh, or I may just do him with Angron, because obviously uh, Betrayer. Um, and so yeah, there you go, guys. Um, so I hope uh, it's something uh, that can you know get you thinking about new ideas and. Uh, stuff like that that you can do with the Primark models. Uh, I've seen some really nice conversions of like Fulgrim and things like that. Um, but yeah, so there you go, guys. Um, just like to say thank you once again for all the subscriptions, um, all the comments, and even all the likes over on the Facebook page. Uh, thank you again. Uh, looking at doing a few more nid videos over the next couple so um, i quite enjoyed painting i'm getting into painting my nids again uh so hopefully there should be a few more vids of them um i'm also looking to do a couple reviews on some of the new paints as well uh the new blood effect paints and things like that um all i can say is a good really good and i may use one or two on this if i can fit them in uh and so yeah so there you go guys thank you once again catch you later See you later, guys.